When trying to lose weight and get your health back on track, there's more than a plethora of different diets and programs out there in order to help you with this. There's the ketogenic diet, there's the Whole30, there's the paleo diet, but the diet industry just keeps getting crazier and crazier. And this time, they may have gone a little bit too far. I'm Dr. Nick Zarowski, and I started my holistic health practice to help you take control of your health naturally because true health only comes naturally. We are also currently doing open enrollment for NutriCore. This is a system of care that allows you to get to the root cause of your health concerns and also take control of your health naturally. I'll put a link in the description below. This first diet claims to be one of the most popular diets worldwide and can also help you lose 10 pounds in just one single week. That's a pretty big claim. Let's go ahead and see what it entails. This diet is looked at in one week increments. You take seven days and then you break it up into two phases. The first three days of the week, you consume breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but you keep it low calorie. You're gonna keep your calories between about 1,100 and 1,400 calories. You're not supposed to snack, but when when you do eat, you eat foods like toast, fruit, eggs, crackers, and also hot dogs and ice cream of all things. The final four days of the week, you restrict your calories to around 1500 calories per day and you eat whatever you want. Now this diet was believed to be created by the military to help military members lose weight, hence the name the military diet. Now. This diet is total trash, okay? This is nothing more than focusing on restricting calories to a huge percentage, whereas they're allowing you to eat lots of sugar, lots of carbs, lots of garbage foods. There's no doubt you'll go in and lose weight. You can't restrict calories that much and not lose weight, but you're definitely not gonna promote health in the meantime. Now, this next diet's a pretty interesting one. This diet focuses on boosting your metabolism, eliminating cravings, and helping you shed unwanted weight by balancing your gut bacteria. There's a lot of ways to go about this weight loss stuff, but who would have thought that balancing your gut bacteria would have been one of them? This diet includes three phases, and I actually like this diet, so hear me out on this one. Phase one is 21 days, and it's totally focusing on repairing your gut health. In this phase, you're required to move a lot of different foods from your diet. You're gonna remove grains, eggs, most legumes, and you're also gonna remove dairy, okay? These are foods that people are highly sensitive to. You also remove starchy fruits and vegetables, which could actually have an impact on your microbiome. So I like where we're going with this. They want you to remove packaged and fried foods, sugar, fillers, coloring, artificial sweeteners, and some different fats, fish. Meat should also be avoided. That one surprises me a little bit. Instead, on this diet, you're encouraged to eat organic, a plant-based diet with prebiotic-rich foods, such as a asparagus, garlic, onion, and leeks. It's also recommended that you increase your fermented food intake, which is rich in probiotics, such as sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, and yogurt. They want you to include more of these. Now in phase two of this diet, you focus on metabolic health. Seems pretty important considering a lot of people have metabolic issues today. You avoid all the foods from phase one 90% of the time, and then you move into phase three. And in phase three, this is considered the maintenance phase, and you basically will start allowing more fruits and vegetables vegetables back into your diet, but you'll go ahead and avoid all the foods from phase one 70% of the time. The premise of this diet is to help you fix the gut, but also help you lose some weight. When you look at a lot of the research, what the research shows is that if you have a healthier gut, then in turn, you'll start to lose more weight. If you're somebody who's trying to fix your gut health, but also your metabolic health and lose some weight, this would be a pretty good diet to go with. This is referred to as the microbiome diet. Okay, wellness warriors, I have a doozy for you here. This diet is literally the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, and believe it or not, it used to be really popular. At the turn of the 20th century, you could buy tapeworm pills, okay? Yes, tapeworm pills. And that allowed you to eat more, but also lose weight. It was known as the tapeworm diet. I swallowed a tapeworm last night. It's going to grow up to three feet inside of me and then it eats all my food so that I don't get fat. Could you imagine? You literally are going to take a worm, you're going to let these things grow inside of you until they're literally sucking the life out of you and then you can eat more and lose weight. Now we do have to take into consideration that you know, back at the turn of the century, they didn't have a very good understanding of health. The government supposedly outlawed this diet because people were growing 25 foot 
tapeworms inside of them and it resulted in severe health consequences like seizures, heart attacks, and many other things. Imagine 100 years from now though. I mean, they're gonna look back at what we're doing in health today and go like, these people were so ignorant. They were treating cancer with chemo and radiation. I guarantee it's gonna happen. Here's a diet that I don't know how to explain in any other way than just plain old bizarre. This diet became popular in the 60s and was supposedly made popular because Elvis would do this diet and he lost a bunch of weight while on it. This diet is referred to as the sleeping beauty diet. This is where people would take drugs that would basically make you go to sleep for a few days and then voila, you would wake up thinner. Supposedly Elvis had some medical nut job from Las Vegas who would put him in a medically induced coma for a few days so he could wake up thinner. Oh my gosh, could this get any crazier? Here's a fun one for you guys. The story goes like this. A man by the name of Horace Fletcher and also nicknamed the Great Masticator Let's keep rolling here. Went to get health insurance and was denied because he was so overweight. What he came up with was a slick method that actually scored him 40 pounds of weight loss. It also made him really famous. And what was his secret, you might ask? Chew each bite of food 32 times before swallowing it. The diet had the motto, nature will castigate those who do not masticate. Now this all supposedly made you eat less food and digest your food better, and also as a result of that would lose weight. Horace Fletcher was wildly popular in his time, and in fact, he is still popular today in digestive health communities. There's some really strange stuff out there that may seem normal just because everybody else is doing it, when in fact, it's not normal at all. I advocate losing fat and weight in a healthy, sustainable way. You can check out my complimentary fat loss mini course right here.